Hello everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can create multiple materials within one material and create a grime matte texture on top of a glossy floorboard. Okay, so we can see the effect here as the light is shining down on the wood, the wood underneath is glossy, but the grime texture on top is a matte material. So let's take a look at this in Unreal. So this is the effect within Unreal Engine and let's get into the materials. Now for my textures, I've just downloaded a seamless texture of a wooden panel. I've then got my normal map of that wooden panel and I've got my grime floor texture on top. And I've also made my own roughness. All I've done is I've just increased the brightness on this um, grime texture and I've created a normal map as well. And you can do all of this within Adobe Photoshop. All you gotta do is load your texture and then go to Filter, 3D, and Generate Normal Map, okay? And then you just select OK, and then you have your normal map. You can also play around with the details if you don't want it to extrude that much. Apart from that, that is all. So let's get into the materials. Right, so let's start with the base color. You can see the base color is currently going up to a lerp, which is then connecting to my texture. It's also connecting to my grime texture and a color that I want for that grime texture. And then we've got our texture coordinate to tile this texture. So let's go ahead and do that. If you right click here, we can type in lerp and we're looking for this one here underneath lap. So math linear inter interpolate. Okay, and let's delete that. So once you have this, we can connect A up to our texture and we select our alpha and connect that to the grime texture, okay? As for the color, that is a constant three vector so you can type that in, constant three vector. Double click on it and we can change the color. So in this case, I've just added a, a dark brown texture. And then click OK. And then that will connect to B. Okay, so let's just go over that again. Base color up to lerp. A goes into our texture. B goes into our constant vector three. I've selected brown and alpha goes into our grime texture. Now both of the UVs from each texture then goes into a texture coordinate. So right click, type in text and it's best to type in text instead of text. And here we've got our texture coordinate. If you select here we can drop this down just so we can see the gradient here and then just connect both of them together into the UVs of each texture. And I've currently got the texture set to 0.3 by 0.3 on the U and V tiling. This is subject to change, it depends on what you're dragging this onto. Your UV could be slightly different. So just play around with these texture coordinates, but just make sure that they are the same. Right, let's get on to metallic. Metallic, I've added a parameter, so right click and type in parameters parameter and go on to let's actually type this in parameters and you want to go to scalar parameter okay and then just drag that into metallic this is our one minus so we can type in one minus here math one minus and this just connects to the roughness just to decrease the roughness uh, on this texture. Then drag and drop your roughness texture into the panel. And then UV connects to multiply, so right click, multiply. Okay, that then connects to the multiply. A then connects to the texture coordinate and you can just go ahead and copy and paste this, so control C, control V. Okay, and then just copy and paste that here. 
and then this is another parameter okay so just type in parameters yeah where we scale our parameter and this time type in the default value of three okay and then just drag that into B okay so this scale our parameter click on it and make sure the default value is at three okay let's move on to the normal here we've added a add node so just right click type in add and under math select add okay so normal into add a goes into our UV of our wood texture and see if I can select that here so this is the UV for the wood texture B goes into append and we can just right click and type in append vector okay so let's just go back up to the top just so we can see normal to add B to append out to B add another add here here in the mask we're gonna do this last so let's just delete this a would connect to in fact let's just do this now let's go from RGB out to mask okay component mask okay so I've just selected the little icon here just to see the mask of our uh, roughness uh, well our normal of the grime texture and then bring this up to a append okay and that should be it once you've done that you can click apply again you might need to go into these texture coordinates and change these numbers um, if the texture is too small or too large then you'll just need to change these numbers accordingly so apply and save and then just drag it onto your material. So here I've just added a little point light just so we can see how the light interacts with the floorboard underneath. Okay. And the grime texture on top. Now you can change that color. All you gotta do is go back into the floor mat, go back to my constant vector three color, and then just make this maybe a little bit darker. Click okay click apply and save and then go straight back into Unreal and there we go now it's a little bit darker so that is how we can add multiple textures within one material so if you want this grime effect then definitely check this out and yeah look forward to seeing your results. So I hope that helped and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Goodbye.